Now around the table, my friends. Sensei Suplex here, and we're going to be discussing the likes of a setting that I've been working on for the longest bit of time. You're probably starting a DD campaign, either Valley of Dreams, Secrets in the Sands, or Seven Souls, and you're probably trying to figure out what exactly the setting of Odin might be. Or maybe you're trying to get involved with the likes of the new arc coming up in, I believe, Arc 4 or the likes of Soulbound, but you don't want to have to go and slog through the likes of 50 or so episodes and sessions from three different campaigns. So this will give you a TLDR of the setting of Bowden and be able to catch you up to speed real quick. So without further ado, let's talk about what exactly Bowden is. Five spirits, one forgotten, one traitor. This prophecy is the main foundation of what Bowden was created off of. Now, that being said, this is something that is going to be prevalent across all campaigns and you'll see this in the likes of small little easter eggs as well as big sort of main themes around the games and a bunch of other sort of entities and other interactions that you'll notice on this note there are these individuals known as the spirits now though not many people know exactly what these spirits are it is said and has been understood that these individuals are the highest tier of them all these spirits are the individuals responsible for almost not even just the creation of Bowden, but also the creation of the entire universe. It's been known to be five, but it's been rumored to even have a sixth one, and possibly even a seventh. But as far as everybody is actually aware, there's only five spirits. Now, these spirits oversee the likes of Bowden, and Bowden doesn't really have more so years it has years but it's not really relevant let me explain instead of really a year sort of time cycle like that that we would typically track in normal sort of fantasy games or even just in real life voting goes by cycles now so far there has been four cycles in the likes of Bowden, and we're currently in the fifth cycle now the fifth cycle of Bowden is the one that all of the campaigns such as Secrets Valley and Seven Souls all take place in. However, Sands of Sin, if you want to go watch and check that campaign out, that campaign actually takes place in the fourth cycle. So what exactly is a cycle? Or well, a cycle is essentially dictated by whether the corruption, this massive force that we're actually going to talk a lot more about later, has taken over the likes of Odin and corrupted everything over. So meaning for every cycle that has gone past, the corruption has essentially won. And thus the cycle repeats itself. With this talk of cycles and spirits and more, you're probably wondering, okay, so what the heck is actually the setting? What is Bowden? Why has it been repeating itself over and over and over? Well, let's explain. And let's start a little bit smaller and let's talk about the three major regions of Bowden. The Forbidden Expanse, the Azure Taiga, and Jaded Dragon Valley. The Forbidden Expanse is the desert region for the likes of Bowden. Now, this is the setting where actually Secrets in the Sands and Sands of Sin take place. A lot of the time, the desert region of Bowden is known as the Hot Hell of Bowden. This is because it is extremely hot as you can imagine a desert might be, but it is also a hell in the sense where whenever the, it begins to turn cold, it turns cold to the point where it could even snow in the likes of the desert. Now, that being said, as resources are pretty thin in the likes of this area, Without finding the likes of a good water source, then you would most likely be screwed. However, a lot of individuals, including the likes of the Soulbound, have been able to figure out a way to monopolize the likes of the water in the region to be able to utilize it for their own very survival. Speaking of water, the water here is actually not normal either. The water itself is actually alive, and for the most part, kind of scared. What does that mean? Well, essentially, water weirdlings or elementals they actually make up the water as they have been blessed by the likes of the goddess of the sea Thassa. essentially they've been given a bit of sentience and more and they've been able to interact with the likes of the world however because they are alive and well whenever some individual would choose to drink them that means you would actively be killing one of the elementals because of this it has led to many hostilities between the likes of the living populace as well as the also living populace and the water elementals these water elementals have been led by the likes of Queen Straftar, who's actually made multiple appearances in the likes of other Project Aurora campaigns, but you're only gonna, or you don't need to necessarily watch all of those to know exactly who she is to get the basic idea. Besides that in the Forbidden Expanse, there is multiple sort of threats and monsters, as well as the likes of sandstorms and more, such as exploding floating islands, 
the likes of strange gravitational shifts and more, as well as a giant lurking beast below. This being a massive sand serpent that seems to burrow through the likes of the sands and more and try to make their way through the Forbidden Expanse. However, hopefully you will not be found in its way. Besides that, there are also massive ancient beasts known as well, the Ancients, where they are dinosaurs or they are the likes of either other monstrosities have been, which have been enlarged to no end. These massive beasts can actually have buildings built atop of them or other ruined structures. Regardless, they roam around the likes of the Forbidden Expanse, and some of them are nice, but other ones, not so much. That said, that's roughly the Forbidden Expanse. Now, Jaded Dragon Valley is a little bit more calm, but don't be fooled by its beauty. Jaded Dragon Valley is essentially a grasslands with multiple mountainous regions that are separated by the likes of three main valleys. The Southern Valley, the Middle Valley, or Main Valley as most people refer to it, and the Northern Valley. Now, it's not necessarily the natural disasters that are going to be the main issue, but there are several volcanoes based off of the likes of the elements that loom and lurk about the entire valley itself. That being a water-filled volcano, a fire-filled or lava-filled volcano, a lightning volcano, and an earthen volcano as well. But like I said, these volcanoes, these natural sort of disasters are not really the main focus or the main antagonist or enemy that the players or Valley of Dreams has to deal with. The main antagonist being the likes of, of the people itself, Jaded Dragon Valley is also known for honorable warriors and the Bushido Code. However, these warriors have gone far and few in between after each and every single cycle, wasting them away with existence. There are still individuals who seek to try to maintain and uphold honor, but there also are a group of individuals who seem to be denying honor and trying to get things done by any means necessary. And then there's the Azure Taiga, also known as Frozen Florida. Not really but that's what a lot of players like to call it. Essentially, the Azure Taiga is the snowy region and wasteland of Bowden. It is home to the likes of the Velkin and more where they are these more so diesel punk Vikings that seem to focus on actually killing the likes of the Corruption. Again, more on them later. With the likes of the Taiga, essentially it has been a frozen over wasteland due to the likes of a angry goddess who seems to have been wronged by the likes of someone or something leading it to have a permanent winter across the world that has been seeking to take over not just the taiga, but also take over bits of the likes of the Forbidden Expanse and even Jaded Dragon Valley. This individual, this goddess, being the likes of the Frost Maiden, Natalia. Now, the taiga is home to multiple sort of corruptive threats and monstrous sort of beasts that would, you would probably never see anywhere else. But even then, for some strange reason, it seems to be the main sort of antagonist is really the players themselves, as they keep making these wild magic portals. There's been one major portal that has turned a lot of the things upside down. This portal being a portal straight to hell. Caused by a wild magic accident, essentially a, a portal ripped itself through the legs of reality and opened up a gateway from hell and back to the legs of the taiga and Bowden. However, our heroes have tried to close it or have tried to sort of work their way around it, but this portal is only growing with time and more and more fiends and demons are learning about it. But the chance of the demons and devils actually lurking out from the portal is slim to none, as the corruption, again more info on that, these individuals have actually taken over layers and layers of other hells. And they don't seem to not be willing to put up a fight. The taiga hosts multiple sort of frozen lakes and more that can't really be traversed by the likes of ships and boats. However, because of their higher sort of advanced technology, more so fit for war and battle, they've actually been able to figure out a way to make flamethrowers or other sort of firearms as well. These individuals typically attach the likes of flamethrowers onto their boats to be able to melt the ice and continue on forward and sail the likes of this mainly aquatic sort of region. And with that, that's mainly the Azure Taiga. Now, in the center of all three regions, there is some place known as the World Tree, or Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil essentially spans across all of Bodin, leaving its roots to connect the three regions and realms. However, it is actually inhabited by multiple individuals. Well, or was inhabited 
for a bunch of players accidentally sent and banished the likes of the corruption more on them later and essentially they cause an apocalypse over there leaving most individuals who are a part of said world tree to die or be corrupted and be forgotten oh god but regardless the world tree was known to have multiple sort of elemental districts and more that were seem to or that seem to be home to well genasis or other ring tails which is which would consist of red pandas, skunks, and even raccoons. Other sort of beasts and animals or humanoids that were capable of flight or even the likes of climbing, they typically resided here in the world tree. However, now it seems to be home to the big faction that I've mentioned multiple times, known as the Corruption. With that, my friends, it's time to talk about the BBEGs or the people who antagonize the likes of our players and the entire populace. Let's do this.